evening. Thank you for the opportunity to speak tonight. My name is Susan Hathaway, and I'm from Sandston, Virginia. And I'm here tonight to speak to you on behalf of the millions of descendants of Confederate veterans and for the veterans themselves who no longer have a voice. I could spend my allotted time telling you about the honor and bravery of these men or speak to the noble character, courage, and bravery an incredible faith of Robert E. Lee, or mention the many, many ways Confederate veterans contributed to the success of even this city, but I won't. For any of us who have witnessed the spectacle in these chambers when city council voted against the wishes of its citizens to remove the Lee Jackson holiday from the city calendar, we know full well that facts, truth, and the wishes of the majority of the constituents sometimes matter very little on a body that is hell-bent on shoving a progressive, extreme agenda on your entire citizenry. The rest of the country is watching in amusement as you cower to the demands of one man and his hate-filled agenda to destroy our history and heritage. We collectively rolled our eyes as we watched you spend $10,000 to appoint a commission to study the matter when blowback from his initial stunt was swift and fierce, knowing full well that if you allowed Mr. Bellamy to run roughshod and force a vote to remove any monument, any further political aspirations any of you may have outside of the protective bubble of Charlottesville would end. We watched you stop, stack that commission with folks with the exact same views as the council holds. We sat through meetings of this commission and listened as citizens overwhelmingly expressed their wishes that the statues remain. From the commissioners, we heard over and over the false narrative of white supremacy selectively applied to everything from the men the monuments honor to those who erected them to those who choose to honor them today. What an absolute colossal waste of taxpayer money. In the end, it is obvious that neither facts nor truth nor the will of people matter to the members of this council, and I, for one, will not waste time or energy in trying to educate folks who are blinded by prejudice and hate. The fact that the man who was the catalyst behind this entire process has shown to be a racist and have a prejudice against anyone who isn't black should have been enough for you to all step back and call off this entire process. In the end, the citizens of Charlottesville should know, since you refuse to tell them, that removing, moving, or altering of any war memorial is illegal in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And I promise you that if you insist on attempting to do any of the above, you will be met with criminal and civil lawsuits that will tie this body up for months and cost your citizens much more than the $700,000 of their money you presently wish to spend on your foolish attempts to satisfy one man's hate-filled crusade. In the end, the monuments will remain, and the names of Lee and Jackson will be spoken with reverence and honor in the Commonwealth long after each of you are forgotten. We have the law and the majority of citizens on our side. You would do well to consider both when making your decision. Thank you. Thank you.